Hello everyone, hello. I'm gonna give a minute for people to come in and I am going to work on my laptop. Make sure everything is in the right place. So how is everyone today? It is witchy wisdom, woohoo, right? If you're here, please say hello, hello, Tanya. Let me see if I can wave at you. Yay! How is everyone? Thank you for joining me today. If you are here, please say hello. And if you are watching the replay, hit hashtag replay for me. And I will um, reply to all the comments. I'm sorry, I went, <laughs> I went brain dead today. So let me make sure that I'm live in my group. Looks good. Hopefully I can see the comments for everyone. So today is Witchy Wisdom. I'm so glad that you guys are joining me. I'm gonna try to get a schedule going on so I can be here at about three o'clock every Wednesday to talk about witchy stuff. So if you are here, please say hello, give me some thumbs up so that I know that you are here. And we'll get started in about a couple minutes. We're still waiting on some people to come in. So um, if you are new to me, let me introduce you because we have some new people. Let me introduce myself to the group. My name is Madam Z and I am a magical life coach. And I empower women to live their most magical life and I coach them to come out of the witchy broom closet. And I am there through the whole entire transformation from putting your toe out into actually living your most magical life. So I teach everything from tarot to crystals to divination to spell casting, anything that has to do with witching. And I always say witching ain't easy, so I try to be there for everyone to help them along their path. Because we will have lots of questions, we will have um, get stumped through the magical life, we will get have blocks, we'll get all kinds of stuff, all kinds of um, obstacles, and self-doubt is huge with our practice. And I am here along the way to help you guys and to guide you and to uplift you and to be the most powerful witch that you can be. So, on that note, we thank you. I have two viewers. We thank you for being here live with me today. So today we are going to talk about witchcraft on the fly. Let me move you back a little bit, sorry. Witchcraft on the fly. And where are my notes? My notes. Um, so we talk about a lot about preparing, okay, a lot about when it's Samhain or when it's Beltane or when it is the wheel of the year, we actually have time to prepare, okay? But what happens when we don't have time to prepare? What happens if we feel out of the blue? that you need to do some magic but you don't have all your tools with you okay or you don't have your magical stuff with you and that happens a lot because we are very much a society on the go right so a lot of times we don't have all of our witchy stuff at our fingertips and so how do we create magic on the fly when we don't have our tools and so today i'm going to talk to you about how i do that give you some suggestions on how to get your witchiness and your power back on the fly without even really having any tools or really just thinking outside the box so for instance let's say you don't have an athame with you okay to um either cast a circle or to call in directions or just bring down the goddess well, you can use your finger so another thing that we can do is um, we can use things that we already have in our possession. Let's say for instance, we are out walking in the woods and you were like, I really feel like I really wanna cast a circle and 
just do some spell work or protection or just meditation but I really want to work with the elements but I don't have my tools so here's what you do don't get upset don't get bogged down don't get in your mind and you know get to the point where you're like I'm not even gonna do it because what you do is you walk around you look for things that Mother Nature, Mom Guy, has given you to use during your practice. Don't let it stop you that you don't have the tools with you to create magic because we can create magic within. It's almost like the magician. We have everything within ourselves to create magic. You don't need all those tools if you don't have them. Although I like my tools because it gives me more um, intention kind of thing. And plus, I love tools, <laughs> magical stuff. Um, so what you would do is you will find four rocks while you're on this magical path, right? You're like, I'm going to throw up some energy. I'm going to throw up a circle. I don't have any tools. What do I do? You find four rocks and you like, you speak to the rocks and you say, rock, this is your intention. You are now representing earth for me. And you put it in the north and then you pick up the rock for south and you're like, south, you are going to hold my circle for south and you put it in the south and you do the rest for east and west so that way you have four corners and another thing you could do is if you want to be more witchy and more in depth in your workings you what you do is what I call essence so you can either breathe on it and say you are now empowered my intentions of north and you are powered my intention with south or you can lick your finger and you just take your finger and write a sigil on the back of it with your what I call essence your breath and your spit and your fluids is what I call essence and you just write your sigil or write your symbol for earth air fire water any of that while you are in circle hello let me wave to everyone as they come in so I can greet them welcome 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 so glad you're here so that way okay you have all of your um, corners called right you have all of them set all your stones you gather a stick for your wand and there's tons of sticks out there just pick one intuitively that you like that connects to you and you have your wand you can take leaves and actually cast the circle outline the circle with leaves so that way you have actual boundaries if you have sand or you're by a beach take some um, beach sand and actually draw the circle okay so that way you just create magic on the fly and when you create the magic you already have your stones in place you have your circle cast you have your wand and that's really all you need and now you are the vessel and that has how you create magic on the fly when you don't have your magical tools another thing that i like to do is portable altars i always like to take little bitty tins or you can go to any kind of antique shop and get a little bitty box and put a little mini altar together so that way you can have it if you need it in your office or you can keep it in your trunk or that way if something happens you can always just go to it and pull it out it doesn't have to be elaborate doesn't have to be huge doesn't have to be all kinds of stuff just whatever your intention is or whatever you feel you need to have in your magical portable altar so that is another way that way you will always have the magic with you and I usually keep one in my trunk so that way um, if something happens I can always just pull it out a little toolbox even I know that um, a lot of my witchy circle friends gets one of those little um, fishing toolboxes or those caboodles and put all their stuff in it and just keep it in the car with them so number two we're gonna talk about a different kind of magic we don't have tools on the fly and it is what I call the pearls of wisdom kind of thing. This is more like kitchen magic kind of stuff. So um, what you do is you take little bitty pearls of onions. You know you've seen those, right? And you string them. And because you don't, maybe you don't have a huge cauldron or maybe you don't have, you know, the tools or the, the space. A lot of times we don't have a space. And um, this is just ideas that I do that I have around the house already that I don't have to go purchase or I don't have to go buy. So you take the pearls of onions and you string it. You take a needle or a piece of thread or um, kitchen twine or I, I usually take one of those little carving needle things that you use for um, to sew up like chicken when you're doing roasted chicken. 
butcher's twine or I think they have a butcher's needle, but I'm not sure. But you you need you needle it. You um, string the pearls of onions right in a string and every day you set your magical intentions on every day it's almost like a rosary but it's pearl of onions and onions metaphysically stand for protection and wisdom and um, letting go of negative energy so every day you would take one of those pearls and rub it in your hand and just say your magical intentions and go through all of it just like a prayer bead. But you hang it in your kitchen like you're in your kitchen window and you want to turn it or work with it every day. So that way it doesn't get moldy and that way it has your intentions and that way you know you're working your magic. So when you do it every morning you already know that you're setting your intentions with magical working. So you're setting your morning off with magic already. So that is another one, Pearls of Wisdom, which is, um, I love that. It's almost like um, hanging garlic. Kind of has the same effect. So the number three, which is really cool that I love to do, and you would, you would really be like, I never thought about that. Why didn't I think about that? While you're sitting there doing dishes, right, washing the dishes in the suds, and you're like, I really need to release the way I eat, or I need to release this, or I need to bring in money so I can buy something new, or you know, manifest some stuff. What you do is you take the, your your liquid soap, and either you can fill the sink up with the pattern of, as you're doing it, like you know, squirting your liquid soap into the um, the sink. You do your sigils, or you do your empowerment symbols. Or your money symbols as the water water is running so that way you the the water is infused with magical intentions another one is actually doing sigils with dish soaps on dishes so that way when um, you're washing it you have a sigil and you're washing it and you know that you're mindfully putting those intentions into I hope my dog doesn't bark into um, your magical workings that's another everyday thing so and of course salt Every every witch <laughs> needs to carry salt with them. I don't care if it's those little packets of salt. This is a good thing to do when you get those little extra um, um, packets of salt and pepper in your to-go boxes or to-go orders. Keep those. Keep them in your purse. You're going to use the salt and pepper for protection. So that way when something pisses you off or you feel like you need, oh, my boss is coming in my office, I don't even want to deal with him, throw some salt and throw some pepper in your doorway in your office. Or when he leaves, just throw it, sprinkle it in your office. So that way you have those salt and pepper packets already done. So it's not, nobody's going to be like, why the hell is she carrying around a whole salt and pepper shaker set? <laughs> that way it's very discreet and you're doing witchy magic on the fly. Salt is super important for us witches because it uses us, it, it helps us cleanse our space, helps us purify our space, it helps us set boundaries, and it also helps us get rid of negative um, energies. Salt is very important. Hello, I've got three people here viewing me, so I just want to say hello. I'm trying to see if I can get some comments, catch up on some comments. So, here is a cool little thing that I used to do is um, I used to take when you're like angry at someone or you're like you need to get out of my life kind of thing but you don't have time to do a whole friggin huge spell and you're like I just have a, tra a little you know one of those little trash bags those little plastic bags you know the, the grocery little plastic bags I used to <laughs> This is weird. This is you're gonna die when I tell you this. I used to take those plastic bags, and I used to take a, a, a marker, a sharpie, whatever color sharpie or whatever color ink you have on a pen or whatever. But I used to correspond my ink with what I was doing. So I had a couple. I think I had a roommate at the time, and I was like, she's getting on my nerves. She needs to. Hello, Amelia. She needs to um, figure things out, and she needs to quit bothering me. And she used to take forever. She was like a BS person. But anyways. So. What I used to do. Is, this is so bad. I used to take the plastic bag. Draw a picture of like her. Right? Not her like. Well an, an image of her. Because she was so negative Nancy. 
and I didn't even want her around her in my space. So after I drew the picture of her, I used to like throw, fold the uh, paper bag or the plastic bag three times away from me to like dispel the negative energy. And then I would take scissors and I would just cut <laughs> the plastic bag nine times. And then I would throw it in the trash. So that is another way to do it. It's not like a binding spell or anything else like that. It's kind of like cut the BS, get to the point. I don't want to talk to you so much. What do you need? Kind of like, so um, that's another thing I did. Because when I was first starting out, I didn't have a lot of magical tools. So you have to do what um, you have around the kitchen, around the house, right? And that was one of mine. I had Sharpie. I had trash bags or um, little grocery bags and I had um, a marker so I just wrote all over that that um, bag and I was just you know put a little um, cartoon character of her and then just cut it up that's another thing now here's another one that is really good for magical attentions and it has to do with also feeding your soul feeding your magical intentions and actually working your magical intentions into nurturing your body and that is making bread so every magical ingredients that you put into making bread you will say something magical put in rosemary put in um, Italian oregano whatever you're making um, put in salt salt for protection rosemary is for protection basil is for abundance so when you're making this bread always speak your intentions into the dough as you're kneading it as you're working it as you're putting energy into this loaf of bread for you and when you are done with it um either dollop some butter on your all four corners or you can actually cut a sigil in the top of it or you can bake a well cut out some more dough or roast some more dough my dog barks i'm sorry and bake the top of it or make a little sigil symbol and put it on top of the bread so it breaks hey karen let me wave at karen hello my sister so that is another way to do it and every time you eat that piece of bread you are infusing that energy into your body and bringing that energy into your body that you are um that you did on all the magical workings so it's all about bread right and nourishing your body and embodying that energy so you can do it for protection abundance health um, I would recommend that you look at correspondence as far as herbs depending on what you want to do and what your intentions are here is another one that I really love doing is we all have a stove right hello Karen hello my sister we all have what I call a modern day kitchen cauldron which is about our stove top use it get I went to the um, like a dollar store I went to like good um, goodwill or something like that and got a little used sauce pot and that was for my magical workings my dog better not bark and um I used to put all my magical intentions in there I used to put my um, potions in there I used to put my potpourri in there I used to put my Maybon's um, stuff in there cinnamon and apples and honey and I used to infuse the whole house with it I would put it on I would um, do it clockwise if I wanted to bring in stuff but counterclockwise if I wanted to dispel stuff and I would have that on the back burner of my stove on low for all day and every time I walk by it, I would set my intentions. I would stir it in a counter or other um, counterclockwise way, depending on what you want to do. And that way, I'm working my magic every day, all the time. And it is infusing your house with that intentions as it calls or boils and bubbles and, and it makes the house smell really good. So you can make magical oils in there. You can do all kinds of stuff in that, um, that cauldron. So let your imagination run wild and here is another thing too that I used to do is um, I went through this period of time and I need to start doing this again where I would go to the grocery store and I would just pick up stuff you know because I was just a non-intentional eater which is um, kind of what I got back to now but I need to get more more into working with um, high vibe fruits and vegetables and nourishing my body 
But, and it was really good when I did this, but I would bring my pendulum with me. And it, now it, it takes a lot. It takes, it's, you're not going to do this in an hour, you know, but I would go through every section of what I wanted and I would ask my pendulum, should I buy this or should I not? Is this going to be nutritious for my body or am I just buying this to feed a craving? And I would take my pendulum and I would put it over the food item, whatever it was, and I would read it as yes or no, however the pendulum works for you, whatever reads for you. And depending on what it said, I would either put it in my cart or I wouldn't put it in my cart and I wouldn't buy it. So that it, that is another way of using your dowsing and your pendulum for magical workings. Okay, let the food or let the goddess or let the energy in the universe pick the foods that your body needs instead of you living in ego and then just picking it out of a craving or stuff that's not going to be nutritious to your body okay so that is some of the stuff that i used to do for magic on the fly when i didn't have any magical tools or when i was out and about and didn't have any magical tools that's just my little tip to you so does anybody have any questions that they want to ask about it takes a while for these comments to come up so let's see feel free to post any questions in here and we will talk about them live and if you're watching the replay talk about um, post your replay questions and I will get to them does anybody do any of these things or have any tips or do they or do you use pendulum work or do you use your cauldron Oops, sorry people or do you use um, what other magical tools do you use that aren't really magical tools that's another thing heck you can use your toilet as a magical tool and just flush down your um, negative energies writing on a piece of paper on toilet paper and just flush it you can use so much stuff that you don't you know you really don't have to go buy all these crazy stuff if you don't want to be creative and that was that's the whole thing about getting back into how powerful you are as a magical being magical light source is really knowing your power and really not relying on store-bought tools really relying on yourself and what you have on your body and any person and what you have in your surroundings it helps you be really aware of your surroundings and what um, energetically is in your field okay you know, in your field that you um, need to either get rid of or you need to embrace does that make sense I hope so so today we are going to pull a card because you know me I have to have a card I hope some of that works and um, I love the one with doing dishes it has really helped me set intentions for the day and in the morning oh that's another thing I forgot to tell y'all um, here's what I do in the morning too when I have coffee or you can have tea but in, in um, I set my intentions for the day so here's what I usually do I come into I have my coffee I come into my office I write down my intentions I pull my card I journal on it but while I'm sitting there just in my quiet space and getting ready for the day in my little cup of coffee I take my creamer and I use it for divination so I, I whatever like I said just to let, like the dish soap if um, counterclockwise counterclockwise if you want to release stuff and clockwise if you want to bring stuff in and I will pour my creamer into my coffee and I will use symbols and I would divine on that and use it for divination coffee and creamer so that is another way of doing stuff and sending your intentions and actually see what symbols that you can come up with for your coffee and creamer so it doesn't have to be some elaborate you know candle wax you know water um scrying tea leaves scrying thing it can be as simple as that and you are actually getting into your third eye getting into your witchy self and really just embodying that power so and setting intentions and getting into the routine of bringing magic into your life every single day okay so today we are going to be working with because it is almost out look at my hair i need to get my hair cut 
Today it's humid outside and my hair does not do well in humid. So humidity, humid, humidity. So today we are walking, walking, working with the witch's oracle. Because it is Halloween, almost Samhain, slash Halloween, depending on what you want to call it. Um, Amelia is, my computer is lagging so hard and my router is right next to me. Might have to catch the replay, but continue. By the way, said, love your skin. Looks so soft and my <laughs> porcelain small. Smooth, the benefits of screen freezing. Aw, thank you. Yeah, catch the replay, Amelia. And if you have any problems, um, this this should be up as soon as I'm done. So um, you can catch the replay and post any questions that you have. So today we are working with the Witch's Oracle. And this is the little white book. I have to change my camera because I have to. Hi, Kim. Kim is here. Okay, so, because it is getting into the dark time of the year, right? We are now entering the season months. I hope you guys had a great um, fall equinox or Maybaum. And let's pull a card, and I love to start working with darker tarot decks, shadow work, and that kind of thing. So, let's pull some cards. For a community hive mind card for today. <laughs> okay. This is about right, right? So we have got the skull. If I can get this right. The These are shiny cards, so I'm hoping the glare you won't see too much. It is like seize the day, right? I like his skeleton. But but he still has the crown of um, the wreath of roses. This is a card of seizing the day, receiving your messages. And also a card of letting things go that no longer serve you. And it's interesting because we, like I said, we are coming in. Hey, Amethyst. Hello, everyone. Let me rave at people as they come in. Um, it is a time of letting go. It is a time of mourning what we... Um, no longer need and saying goodbye to that and there's a period of going within before we set our tensions in the spring so this is a perfect card for seizing the day and it is a perfect card for letting go of things that no longer serve us that need to die it's almost like a plant that goes through cycles it has to go through a dormant cycle in order for it to come out blooming with better blooms and be and to get stronger root system it's almost like that so i want to talk about our intentions in a um incantation during this card the skull card so here is our incantation for the skull let me put that up so you can see it while i'm reading it to you now is the time to uncomplicate my life, to enjoy simple pleasures and remove all strife. Each day is a blessing and time quickly goes by. From now on my behavior, I must rectify. So that is your incantation for this skull. Love this one. All right, that's it, my witches. I hope you enjoyed the magic on the fly. And like I said, um, I am always here. Don't forget, I am opening up a couple client one-on-one -on -one coaching packages. So if you want to work with me on one-on-one, -on -one, I have three-month and six-month packages available. And we will really get deep into your witchy studies, your witchy practices. And this is just one thing we'll talk about. So you can get really focused on becoming your authentic self and living in your witchiness and your powerful magical authentic authenticity so if you want to work with me please send me a message and please let me know because i am taking a couple clients and um i hope you enjoy this i love doing magic on the fly kind of outside the box kind of magic right all right my witchy sisters witch on and uh if you're watching the replay let me know hashtag replay bye enjoy the rest of your wednesday